Unity is one of the most popular game engines of the modern day, and there are many good reasons why. It's powerful, easy to learn, and can export games to almost any platform. But recently, Unity has been making one bad decision after another, and something they did recently was the final straw for many game developers who are furious with Unity and the company behind it. Unity's new announcement has led to a swarm of tweets, memes and other internet jests mocking it, and many developers are considering switching engines mid-development or completely taking down their games that were made using Unity. So what is this confusing, horrible, incredibly idiotic change? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. And please remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy it. So why was Unity popular in the first place? Well, back in the day, game engines weren't really a commonly available thing to the public most of the time, but Unity changed everything. It was easy to learn and you could get the games you made on almost any platform. Being the first of its kind to make game development this easy, Unity quickly rose in popularity and had a kind of monopoly on the game engine market. Eventually, competitors of all shapes and sizes grew around it, but Unity has been the engine of choice for a huge portion of game developers for a really long time at this point. But we're not here to talk about the good things about Unity. While it is a very good engine for the most part, problems have arisen in recent years regarding the amount of bloat, the weird pricing plans, and the overall lack of care about the indie developers who were using it. The company behind Unity, Unity Technologies, seems to have some shady stuff going on behind the scenes, like merging with this company called Iron Source that's done sketchy things in the past. They also kept announcing new features, leaving them half finished and moving on to something else leaving the engine as a mishmash of broken widgets and clashing systems. Being a game developer myself, I tried to learn Unity when I was first getting started, and I noticed a lot of these problems right away. So what's this new announcement that Unity made that people are so mad over? Well, they updated their pricing plan to this. If you're confused about what this means, you're not alone. Basically what it means is, if you develop a game with the Unity engine and someone installs it onto their computer, you have to pay the Unity company 20 cents. It's a little more nuanced than this, of course, but I'll go into more detail in a second. People were obviously furious. Not only is this a greedy change that would take money directly out of developers' pockets, but there are tons of problems with the logistics of it. Does it apply if one person reinstalls it multiple times? If so, what stops people who don't like you from botting their installs and forcing you to pay thousands of dollars or more to Unity? If you release a game for free and it happens to blow up, won't you lose a ton of money and potentially go bankrupt? If someone pirates your game, will you have to pay Unity despite not making any money from that copy, and how will they know when someone installs the game in the first place? They'll have to pack some sort of software with every game that tracks things, which is creepy, and obviously people don't want that. The list of problems just goes on and on. At first, Unity doubled down, saying that you would be charged for multiple installs. People were not happy about this. The developer of Cult of the Lamb, a popular game made with Unity, said they would take down the game on January 1st before the changes went into effect. Devs of other popular games like Among Us and Slay the Spire said they would switch game engines. Not an easy task, but presumably worth it to escape from the potential of bankruptcy at the hands of a greedy corporation. Since then, Unity has backpedaled a little, changing the policy on multiple installs and clarifying that it won't apply to games that don't make any money. Also, this feature doesn't apply in the first place unless you're making over $200,000 in the past year and have 200,000 downloads in the game's lifetime. This seems like it takes the weight off a lot of people's shoulders, but what about mobile games or free-to-play games that have a huge player base and make most of their money off of microtransactions? There are many big companies that own games like this that were made with Unity, and some people think a lawsuit is imminent. And even if they decide to remove this change entirely, there's a kind of trust that's been broken. Who's to say in the future they won't suddenly decide to charge everyone $20 for every hour players have in a Unity game? This is obviously a very extreme example, but making games is time consuming and financially draining, so it makes sense that most people don't want a greedy company looking over their shoulder, just waiting for the right moment to snatch up as much cash as they can before you can switch engines. There's also the question about games that are currently being developed in Unity and whether they'll switch engines. Silk Song is a big example of this, as it's a game that we've been waiting on for several years at this point, and waiting until like 2027 so that Team Cherry can change game engines would be soul crushing to say the least. But Team Cherry hasn't spoken about this yet, so I'll try to keep speculation to a minimum and just hope for the best. So why is Unity doing this in the first place? The obvious answer is they're just really greedy. I mean, the current CEO of Unity used to be in charge of EA so it checks out. I feel like even a money-hungry CEO wouldn't do something this stupid, but neither me nor anyone else can think of any other good reason for this. So the situation basically boils down to, Unity takes money from developers, developers angry, and some are taking action. I don't think this move will kill Unity forever, but it's certainly another step down the wrong path, and Godot and Unreal are looking more tempting every day. As a Godot user myself, I can say that it's a very good little game engine. It's completely free, and you own all the games you make with it. Unreal is good too if you have a larger team or are looking to make something very fancy and complex. They do take money, but their plan is much more reasonable and simple than Unity's BS. So yeah, I just wanted to cover this because it's blowing up right now, and it's a topic that I'm experienced in. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video or if it was informative. Thanks for watching. Peace.